Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve Paper 3 Data Analysis Task, Cambridge IGCSE ICT Exam. And this is May, June 2022, Variant 32 exam paper. So for this exam paper, you have been provided with the source files. Okay, you should check your folder to ensure that you have all of these files in your folder. So let's just check. Okay, so we have all the six files in our folder. Okay, task one. Create a new Word document, process document. Make sure your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. Okay, so we're going to open Word document. Okay, click on blank document, and we are going to make use of header. So click on insert, header choose the three columns and then you have your name center number and then candidate number at the top okay that's done save this document in your work area with this name okay followed by your center number and candidate number for example so we are going to save the file um like this okay using the names so file save as okay save in your work area so let's see our okay center number and then candidate number okay center number is one two three four and then candidate number okay change the file format and then save okay this is our evidence document you will need your evidence document during the examination to play screenshots when required task two you are going to create a spreadsheet for the tawara wildlife trust to display data about funding for their global conservation projects. The amount each project cost is paid in the local currency of the country where the project is running. Tawara Wildlife Trust record their finances in Tawara dollars. So each cost must be converted into this currency. Display Tawara currency as dollars to two decimal place okay we are going to um, we need to take note of this as we are going to be um, changing the currency to dollar and then um, the figures needs to be in two decimal place okay do not edit the data prov um, provided unless instructed to do so now open and examine the files um, J2232 cost, J2232 currency, and then J2232 projects. So let's open the files, cost, currency, and then projects. Okay. So this is the file, um, projects, and we can see we have projects code and project name then we also have okay this is also another file we have the project code the currency the country and all of that and the third one okay the third one we have okay we also have iOS country currency and the exchange rate okay Place in the J2232 cost file, left aligned in the header, your name, center number, and candidate number. Okay, so left aligned, we need to place our name, center number, and candidate number in the cost file. Okay, so click on insert, okay, and then choose either and footer. So, 
we need to have okay left aligned your name center number and candidate number left aligned okay and then we also have right aligned in the header automated file name and file path okay right aligned file name okay here so file name and then file path okay that's done save this as a spreadsheet with the file name cost okay cost followed by your center number and then candidate number okay okay then center number and then candidate number okay change the file format and then save okay you can go back to normal view okay enter a formula in cell c5 okay let's look at cell c5 okay this is cell c5 project name what formula do we need to enter to display the ios of the currency okay oh sorry mistake Okay, to look up the project name using the project code. Okay, for the value and the external file j232project.csv. So, what the, this question wants us to do is to write a formula here. Okay, the formula will look, use this project code, okay, and then look at this file okay to provide the project name okay so we have the project code in this file and the project name so let's impute the formula so we are going to make use of vlookup okay vlookup what should it look up um look in the look for in the file okay it needs to look for the project code okay look for the project code in which table array okay in which table array in this okay this so you just select the two okay and then comma so how many colon number how many colon this is colon one colon two okay two comma then zero okay zero means um exact match then close okay and that's it we have it so we have the project name elephant orphanage okay this is done okay enter a formula in cell g5 okay where is cell g5 this is g5 local currency okay so i believe the formula let's see is to display the ios of the country okay um sorry ios of the currency for the country displayed in cell d5 okay to display the ios of the country displayed in cell d5 this code must display the ios of the country displayed in cell d5 so what formula do we use So we type equal lookup. Okay, lookup country. Then we go to the file. Okay, and then we we select the country. We select the country, and then, of course comma and then select the ios
okay and then close bracket then enter okay so we have the ios of the local currency okay that's done okay question four enter a formula in cell h5 now this formula is going to calculate the cost in tawara dollars okay it's going to calculate the cost in tawara dollars by dividing the value in the cost in the local currency column okay let's see the value in the cost okay by dividing this cost okay it needs to divide this cost by let's see okay by the exchange rate and the exchange rate is in the file currency Okay, divide the cost by the exchange rate. Okay. Let's see the file for the exchange rate. Okay, so in this file, we have the exchange rate. Okay, we can see the exchange rate in colon D. So let's type the formula. Okay, in cell h5 okay so we are going to make use of vlookup so equal vlookup now um, let me make this clear we need to divide cost in local currency with the exchange rate now we have the value of it's just like saying f5 divided by the exchange rate but we don't have the exchange rate in this um in this table so we need to first of all bring in the exchange rate first before we now divide okay i don't know if you get me but you need to bring in the exchange rate first before you divide so how to do that so to bring in the exchange rate v equal v lookup so what does it need to look up it needs to look at the country okay look at the country and then where is the file okay so based on the country we are going to select the currency i mean sorry we are going to select the country okay up to the exchange rate the currency up to the exchange rate so it's going to look at the currency I mean sorry look at the country and then of course um get the exchange rate so i'm going to comma how many colons this is three colons and then of course exact match close bracket enter okay so we have the exchange rate now here so all we just need to do is um divide okay so to have that in the formula okay i'm just going to make use of I'm just going to type F5. Okay, this value is an F5. So F5 divided by the exchange rate that we have imported. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so we are done with this. Replicate the formula entered in steps 2, 3, and 4 for all the transactions. Okay, this formula. Okay, you just need to double click and it will replicate in the other cells. Okay. Okay, double click. Okay, that's done. Okay. Merge cells A1 to H1 cell a1 to h1 
Okay, this cell. So just merge and make merge and oh. Let's see. Okay. Insert a new row between rows three and four, then and also one and two. Okay, row three and four. Okay, insert. And then also between row three and four. I mean one and two. Okay. Okay, that's done. Okay, format rows one to six to look like this. Okay, format row. So let's start with row one. Row one, we have um, background color, and then the text is the size is increased and it is bold. Okay. So background color. black and then make the text white increase the size and make it bold okay then row two is adjusted and then first quarter january is bold i mean sorry is yeah is bold i believe okay let's check let's just yeah it is bold Okay, so let's adjust. Okay. Bold. And then also this is bold. Okay. And then we can see that project code and then this last um, three row sorry last three columns is wrapped okay um, row five is also adjusted row five okay let's just double confirm And then project code and then I'm going to wrap okay which other one um, cost in local currency local currency iOS and then cost in Tawara okay so I'm just going to adjust this adjust and then I'm going to wrap Okay, that's it. Then what else? Okay, um, okay, and they are all center aligned. Okay, center aligned. Okay, that's done. Apply appropriate formatting to the value stored in colon H. Okay, colon H, if you remember, in this question it says currency is dollar and it is two decimal place so we are going to apply the formatings okay so the currency okay dollars and of course it's in two decimal place okay I'm just going to click on this and then apply it. Excuse me. Um, currency and then to the decimal place. Okay, so our currency is in to the decimal place and it's in dollars. Save your spreadsheet. Print your spreadsheet showing the formula. It is landscape orientation. Row or column headings are displayed and the contents of all cells are fully visible. Okay, so 
first of all save okay and then go to formula okay click on show formula and then um, let's um, change the orientation page layout the orientation should be landscape okay so now ensure that all the formulas are fully visible okay all the formulas are fully visible okay you may try to adjust this so that it doesn't take up space okay you can just adjust this manually okay make sure that all the contents are visible and then you can print okay so file print okay the orientation is landscape click on page setup the question says that the row and column headings are visible okay check this and then okay Okay, so we have six pages. Okay, this is fine. Okay, that's it. Okay, the next question says, print the spreadsheet showing the values. Okay, I'm going to change from formula to values. So I'm going to click on this show formula and then we have the values okay guys try to readjust okay readjust the table okay Adjust the table to what it looks like before. Okay. So file, print. Okay, let's look at the instruction. It says page width fits on a single landscape. Okay, single landscape. And um, content of all cells are fully visible. Row and column headings are not displayed. Okay, the row and column headings are not displayed. Click on page setup. Okay, click on sheets and then uncheck the row and column headings. Okay, and then the scaling fits on a single. Okay, um, sorry. Let's see. No, that's wrong. Okay. It says fit on a single page wide. Yes. This fits on a single page wide. Okay, as we can see the last column. Cost in Tawara. So you should have three pages. Okay, that's it. Okay, question 12. Sort the data into date, date order with the hardest date first. Okay, sort the data into date order with the hardest date first. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to click on sort. So I'm going to choose, excuse me, yes, filter, and then into ascending order of, let's see, I'm sorry, not ascending, okay, with the oldest date first. Okay, others date first. Okay, so we have the oldest date first. 
that's done. Extract only the data where the country is Indonesia or Malaysia. Where the country is Indonesia. Okay, the country. So uncheck select all and then choose Indonesia and then Malaysia then okay okay so we only have the country that is Indonesia and Malaysia okay that's done print the spreadsheet extract showing the values print print out fits on a single landscape and cells content of all cells are fully visible okay so we are going to print this Okay, ensure that everything is fully visible. So file, print, um, let's see, landscape. Okay, the orientation is landscape and yes, we have that. And then you can just print. Okay, that's done. Okay, question 15. Okay, remove the extract selection criteria so that all the data is fully is visible. Okay, I'm just going to remove. Okay, and just click on select all and that's it. So all the data is fully visible now. And then sort the data into ascending order of country. Okay, into ascending order of country. Okay. okay, that's been sorted. Extract only the data where the iOS is, EUR, and the date is before March. So let's do this first. The iOS is, currency is Euro. Okay, iOS. On select all and then okay okay and then the date is before march 2022 okay date is before march 2022 so we need to remove this 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 and then this so we are only supposed to have one two three let me check again yeah this is it okay the date is before march 2022 okay let's just double check before march 2022 okay that's correct so print the spreadsheet showing the values print outfits on a single landscape page contents of all cells are fully visible okay so we are just going to print out this extract click on file print okay and then that's it make sure the orientation is landscape and then you can print I just want to check something okay Okay, the next question says, oh, okay, that's all for this question paper. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.